Welcome to part one on how to make a pom-pom hedgehog. First off, you're going to need cardboard, scissors, a pen, and something circle. Draw two circles. Go ahead and cut those circles out. Once both circles are cut out, cut a pizza shape into one circle. Once that's done, fold it over and cut around that fold, creating a small circle. Once that is cut out, grab your other circle and line it up with your cut circle. Draw out the same pattern. Go ahead and cut that trace pattern out. Now you have two cut circles creating a C. Next you'll need two different color yarns. Taking your darker colored yarn, cut off a piece and place it onto one of your cut C's, leaving the ends dangle off your C. Sandwich them together. Start wrapping in the center of the C, wrapping around your yarn as much as you'd like to create the front body of your hedgehog. The more you wrap around, the chubbier, fuller your hedgehog will be. Once that's complete, cut that off. Do the same with the darker yarn, wrapping it around the white center and also the rest of the cardboard C. Keep in mind the more you wrap, the chubbier your hedgehog will be. Now taking the two yarn pieces that you sandwich between both the cardboard C's, tie it in a knot. Taking your scissors and cutting between both pieces of the cardboard C's, cutting your yarn. Holding on to your C-shaped yarn on your cardboard so it doesn't come apart. Once that is done, take your two yarn pieces and tie very tight. I tie it two to three times, wrapping it around a couple times. This ensures your hedgehog not falling apart. Once that is done, go ahead and pull out the two cardboard C's. Just give it a quick fluff. Once it's done fluffing, section out the white part of the front of the body and trim along your fingers, making sure you don't cut your fingers. Keeping your fingers curved so your body of your hedgehog stays curved.
trimming around the white section to make sure it's equally cut. Now it's time to shape it. So in the center of the white part, cut out a section a little shorter. This creates the face part and the belly part of your hedgehog. And then just trim up the rest just to make it look smoother and a little bit more shaped. Once you're done that, start trimming around your hedgehog side portion, using your fingers to keep it equally cut around. Moving on to the back side, do the same thing. Shaping the back of your hedgehog all the same length. Once that is done, you have your hedgehog bodies. Each hedgehog will look different. Thanks for watching part one. Check out part two on how to make the hedgehog face and body parts, the hedgehog eyes, nose, and paws using modeling clay. Subscribe and follow all new videos.